Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are going to be checking out the third fan vote returns for the 2022 NBA All-Star Game. As always, I use the power of peripheral vision blockage to ignore the list in front of me. I have no idea who's on this list, man. What I do know is that uh, the first two, I mean, the first one was a little rough. The second one had aspects of roughness. So this one... Uh, hopefully we reach a realm of just like, hey, this is what it probably should be, or at least pretty close to it, right, man? So here we go. We are going to start off with the Western Conference All-Stars, uh, but also, I guess, just a quick announcement. Uh, since this is the main channel, I announced it over on Extra Crispy already. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am actually going to be working with Bleacher Report now for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm going to be doing like NBA discussion type of stuff over on their YouTube channel. My first video is actually up, so if you get a chance to go over the man, show that crispy support. Um, it would mean a lot, and also it makes me look a little bit better when there's more views on the content that go on their channel, man. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to actually post a link to that in the description below if you do want to check it out. It would be greatly appreciated, even just to leave a like or something. Uh, so here we go. Western Conference. We do have LeBron. Oh, my goodness. LeBron is killing the vote, man. Whoa. Woo Dang. 6.8 million votes for King James. And well-deserved. Well-deserved, right? So, uh... Yeah, no big time surprise there. He's LeBron James. You know, you get the name, you get the marketing, you get the player. Most importantly, the player. Uh, at the age of 42, still doing this stuff, man. JK, he's not 42, he's only 41. JK! He's in his 30s, I know that. Um, we got Nikola Jokic at number two. Yeah, Jokic is having uh, a better season than last year. He won last year's MVP. So, I mean, I don't expect him to win the MVP just because of, like, I know how the voting system works. Like, Jokic ain't going to be back back MVP, sadly, even if he does deserve it. Um... But yeah, 4.1 million votes for him. That's awesome to see. I love his story, Manuel, being a second uh, round draft pick and everything like that. Um, being drafted over you know, a Taco Bell commercial. He said he was sleeping during the draft. Number three, we got Andrew Wiggins. So, I would say, okay. I, I, I do know there's a lot of people out there from a front court standpoint that uh, don't like seeing Andrew Wiggins this high up. Because this essentially puts him as a starter based off the votes right here. But uh, what you got to recognize is that, you know, look at all the players under him, man. We got Paul George at number four. We got Anthony Davis at number five. Both guys that have been out with injuries. So, you know, Paul George would be starting essentially if he was healthy, but he's probably not going to be healthy. Um, and then Anthony Davis, it's, it's like even when he was playing to start of the season, he was kind of struggling out playing his best ball out there, man. So, yeah. And then number six, we got uh, Draymond Green. I know, I also know he's got his own, you know, um, share of injuries right now. But uh, Draymond definitely, I think, is up there as far as, like, defensive player of the year. Um, number seven, we do have Carmelo Anthony, which, uh, man, I love Melo as much as the next person does. But, uh, yeah, some of the players he's over is just completely disrespectful. So, Number eight, we got Carl Anthony Towns at 1.1 million votes. Then after that, it falls down to Rudy Gobert at about half a million. And then DeAndre Aiden under half a million votes. So, I mean, overall, I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I do think there's cases of certain guys being disrespected and everything like that. But uh, if Andrew Wiggins makes an all-star starter team, like, that's going to be pretty cool to see, man. That's going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, for the guards, we got number one leading the way, Steph Curry at about six, oh, just over six million votes, six million and change. Um, you know, once again, Steph Curry not having his greatest season statistically wise, but he's still Steph Curry, and even his bad season would be a lot of players' best season of all time, right, man? So yeah. Uh, oh, we got John Moran number two. Yes, John Moran definitely, definitely, definitely at this point deserves to be an All Star starter. I don't care what anybody says. He has earned that place, man. Like, I know people are already calling him, uh, you know, overrated and everything like that. But you ain't going to hear from me. Um, he is changing the Memphis Grizzlies. And uh, I'm going to say it, man. He's like the new Prime D. Rose. He's the new Prime D. Rose. I I love Derrick Rose. one of my favorite players of all time. But I do hope that, you know, with John Morant, we get that what if Derrick Rose stayed healthy factor with John Morant. And just seeing how crazy he is as a player athletic-wise and everything like that, man. Um, yeah, so he's, I think he's a few months younger than when Derrick Rose won his MVP. I was going to talk about him maybe at least getting a few votes for the MVP voting. Um, number three, we got Luka Doncic. Yeah, uh, no issues with that whatsoever, man. Um, some people might say Luka should start and everything, but, you know, John Moran's been, been putting up his, uh, crazy numbers and everything. So, I mean, I'm cool with John Moran, what he's been doing for the Memphis Grizzlies, getting that starting nod over Luka Doncic. 
Uh, number four, we do have A. Clay 47. So, you know, back playing some good basketball. Do I think he deserves to be number four on the guards? No, I do not. A lot of it is popularity, which, uh, I mean, everybody loves Clay Thompson, right, man? Everybody loves Clay Thompson. So we got him at number four. Number five, we have Devin Booker. Number six, Russell Westbrook being on the list. Number seven, CP3. Okay, okay. Number eight, Donovan Mitchell. Feels like extreme disrespect to Donovan Mitchell. Um, yeah, once again, man, like, when I see Donovan Mitchell and the type of player he is at number eight on the guards voting, it makes you, like, recognize why he perhaps might want to leave the Utah Jazz. for Because, like, if this man was on the Lakers or the Warriors or the Knicks, you know, a team like that, this man would be top three or four voting right now. He really would be. So, yeah. Uh, number nine, we got Damian Lillard, which obviously he's not going to play because of injury. And number 10, we got Anthony Edwards. So, uh, I wonder if Anthony Edwards maybe. Well, no, he should be over Damian Lillard because he's been healthy and everything. So, just for that reason. But uh, Anthony Edwards, I think, you know, it's nice to see he's on the list. He's on the list. All right. So, for the Eastern Conference, we have Kevin Durant, who's probably not going to play in the All Star game. But uh, beyond that, we got number two, Giannis Atanakumpo. I. I have a feeling between now and, well, no, I think voting ends on January 22nd, which is in two days. Um, so if people get crazy with votes, I could see Giannis surpassing Kevin Durant just because of health and everything. Uh, number three, we got Joel Embiid, who just dropped a 50 piece like ain't nobody's business. Number four, we got Jason Tatum. Five, Jimmy Butler. Um, I still think there's an argument between Tatum or Butler. Either one with that, man, but... I feel like Tatum puts up better stats, but Butler affects the game a bit better. So when it comes to the All-Star game, people care, you know, tend to care more about stats. When it comes to making All-NBA teams, they care more about, uh, you know, well, beyond stats, just like the effectiveness of the team. Number six, we got Jarrett Allen. I nice seeing uh, Cleveland Cavalier out here somewhere. Oh, yeah, where's, uh, oh, we haven't got it in guards yet. I was going to say, where's Darius Garland? Um, number seven, we got Pascal Siakam. Nice seeing him get some respect. Number eight, Bam out of bio. I'm sure there's probably, you know, I, I can see Toronto and Miami fans maybe uh, talking about some things there. But I'm cool with Pascal being number seven. Bam's not been healthy the entire season. Number nine, we got Miles Bridges. Great seeing him get some votes, making this list and everything. He's been really good for the Charlotte Hornets. And not in a way where last year he was good, but it didn't lead the wins. Like, he's putting up great numbers, and it's leading to good things for Charlotte. And then number 10, we got LaMarcus Aldridge. There we go, man. LaMarcus! Uh, then for the guards, number one, we got DeMar DeRozan. Should still be a front court player, but it's fine. Number two, we got Trey Young. Number three, we got Zach Levine. Um, I'm cool with Trey Young getting the star over Zach Levine because I do think Levine he's, is he going to be out during the All Star game? I don't know. I don't know how long his injury is, but I do know. Well, the Bulls in general have been, uh, injury issues. Um, number four, we got James Harden. Yeah, even James Harden, like stat wise, maybe not as good as years past, but he still puts up All Star numbers. Number five, Lamelo Ball. I'm cool with Lamelo making reserves. Uh, Kyrie at number six, popularity vote. Uh, we all know what Uncle Drew is all about, but I'm giving the nod to guys that, uh, you know, have been playing the entire season. Number seven, Fred Van Vliet. Finally getting his respect to an extent. He should be a, he, she, he should be in front of Kyrie and probably Lamelo Ball too. Fred Van Vliet's one of the most underrated guards in the NBA. Number eight, we got Derrick Rose. Um, who hasn't played in quite some time. Number nine, Darius Garland. Complete disrespect to Darius Garland. Number 10, we got Jalen Brown also being disrespected. They should both be above Derrick Rose. And that's, and that's one of my favorite players, right? And Kyrie Irving, man. They really should be. So, huh. It's not insanely bad, you know? And, 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 and you know, once you get down to like that six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 range, it's really not that big a deal. Like, yeah, Melo's number seven. Should he be there? Probably not, but he's not gonna make the all-star team, so... I shouldn't be bitching that too much about it, man. But, uh, yeah, that's all we got for this video. What do you guys think? Do you agree with, you know, the all-star voting here for the third fan returns? Um, based off this, it's probably looking like, you know, LeBron, Jokic, Wiggins for the front court. Steph Curry, John Morant for the back court. And then uh, probably Giannis, Joel, and Tatum for the front court with DeMar and Trey Young for the back court as it stands. So, go out there, man. Get your votes in. Thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.